All right, folks. So welcome back. As promised, now we're going to see the second function that uh, allow us to achieve a 22% speed improvement, right? And it's still using AVX, right? But is a completely different method, right? Um, so it's still based on the permute, permute var, but it's achieved its performance by building the mask. Uh, into the register, so uh, avoiding ex an expensive load uh, through the register and building the array, all these kind of things, right? So by no means that's not uh, the way the mask is built is not, uh, I didn't make the code, I actually find it on Stack Overflow, and you can find the link here, uh, you can go and check it, all right? Uh, I just adapted the function and studied the function to understand uh, what was doing, all right? And we're going to see that because that's the, the only interesting part, is the only difference compared to the previous function, all right? So as usual, here we are building the register, we are doing the, uh, the addition, so, oops, sorry, so at this point, right, to be masked, we are at the same point. We are building the comparison, but this time, I'm starting with a different mask. I'm starting, uh, by building an integer where only the first six byte means something. Everything else is zero, right? So basically each bit starting from the right basically says if I want to keep the value or not, right? So if I want to keep the first few values, I basically want something along those lines. Oops. One, one, because I want the first and the second one. And this number in binary is three. Instead, if I want uh, to keep the third and fourth, I need this kind of mask, and that's 12. And similarly, if I add two other zeros, so I want the, uh, the fifth and the sixth, is 48. So I'm building the mask in a similar way I did before, right? Uh, by multiplying the condition, which I convert to int, by the number. And I'm getting a single 32 integer. So that's my mask. Right, so I either flip two bits, uh, the first, uh, first and second, third or fourth, or fifth or sixth, based on which value I want to pick, and then I'm passing that to the function compress 256, where I pass the register, where I have all the u values added, so and this initial mask. So let's start to see what is going to happen, right? Uh, and then after that, I just store in the usual way. Now, here is the function, and this is where the magic happens, right? So this is where I learned about uh, BMI2, right? And uh, you can see that that's the code I use for compiling. I need to enable that, right, BMI2. And basically, that's an instruction set for uh, doing bitwise uh, bit manipulation, right? So scatter bits, gather bits shuffle bits, all these kind of things, right? Kind of this, it kind of looks like uh, ADX, what you do with ADX, but uh, on a 32-bit uh, value, I think also 64, sorry, uh, based on what you do, right? So that's what happens here, right? So um, let's start to understand what happened. As an input, we have uh, a 32-bit value, as we said, where the first six bits, or you can have eight uh, for, for the matter, but I only use six values, uh, are either zero or one. So the, the bits are either zero or one based on the value you want to keep. So in my case, I just want those, but you can have whatever pattern you want in there, right? So three bits set, three not, other, sorry, the other um, five not set, or one zero, one zero, one zero, one zero, right? So next, what I want to do, or better, what the script use, is it's using uh, this function, right, which basically is the deposit function. Actually, we can, we can look for it. So let me open Firefox really quick. There we go. So I'm going to snap it here. So I'm looking for pd uh, etu64. If I can type. Of course, that's a whole different story. There we go. 
parallel bits deposit. Uh, that's the Intel one, but um, this is the one I usually use. So it tells you what it does. And what it does is basically is going to uh, position the source bits, right? Uh, basically using a mask, right? So I'm going to copy the bits where you want it to. So now we're going to use this hard-coded mask, which might not mean anything for you, but look to me. So if I'm going to convert hex to binary, right? Here we go. And I'm going to basically use these values, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And you start with that one, right? So that's the value we get, right to left, right? So you see that basically only flip the uh, one bit uh, every eight, right? So you see we have eight bit only the first one, then eight bit, eight bit, eight bit, eight bit, eight bit. So basically means grab each one of the bit I have or the eight bit and scatter them every byte. Right, so this function effectively, effectively uh, give us that uh, we unpack the first eight bit um, every byte. So we expand that to a 64 bit value. All right, that's why you can see we actually get a U in 64, and it actually is commented here as well. Unpack each bit to a byte. All right, so I hope uh, it makes sense, right? And basically, we are going to get uh, this mask, so which is called the expanded bus, uh, mask. Now, what we want to do is to basically um, Sorry, is to basically um, expand or duplicate each bit to the whole uh, byte, right? So basically, I want to grab this value, which I copied, and copy that seven times. So let's go back and let's check. Oops. That's FF. Let's see what value is that, right? So you can see what is happening here. Right, so that's why this value is gonna get basically copied uh, due to the multiplication. If we have a zero, we will keep all zero. If you have a one, right, uh, we get a one because basically we are multiplying one, 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 one by either one or zero. That's why we get this kind uh, of duplication. All right. And it, you can see that basically corresponds to uh, shifting by one, masking. And if you do that, you basically just duplicate uh, each bit once, right? And if you do that seven times, that's basically you get this result. So after we expand the mask, right, every eight bit we have means if we want to keep it or not, where the whole bit is either all flipped on or all flipped off. All right, so that might mean no sense for you, but give it time and we see what we are going to do. We are going to keep expanding that, right, to convert that basically to a mask that then we use that to filter the indices we want. All right, if you remember, the final mask for the permute is a 256-bit value where every 32 bit is an index between 0 and 7. So that's the final result. Now basically we're going to build this result up. So, now, what we're going to do is basically to scatter, uh, sorry, to extract bits based on the mask we have here, right? And we're going to use basically to extract the bits from this hard-coded value. And you might wonder what the heck is this? So let's see if it lets me copy. There we go. No, it doesn't let me to. So we'll have to type it. Also, I will misspell it. 
O2, O1, O, O. So if we convert that, we see what we get, right? I think I might have misspelled zero seven zero. Oh, here we go. I misspelled one. So it, seven six o five o four o three o two o one o o. There we go. There we go. Now, now it's better. So basically, we have the number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, every byte. So every byte represents the one number, uh, sorry, the, the one index between 0 and 7. So I hope you see where we are going with this. All right, so now we are going to use the mask, which flips on, basically only keeps 8 bits at the time, to extract this, so this will allow us to extract only the indices we want. But this masking is really peculiar because it's going to grab the indices that the, sorry the indices that we keep, and it's going to store them one after the other. Basically, it's going to suppress the value that we don't want. Let's make an example. So we have the mask zero, six. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. So those are the indices by this. So each each of these numbers is eight bit. Then we have the mask, where we have whatever pattern we want. Right. Each of these one or zero counted as eight bit. So now, if you do a regular mask, what you expected to get is this seven. 0, 5, no, sorry, 0, 4, 3, 0, 1, 0. So basically, you keep only the elements uh, they, uh, that are set to be kept with a, with a 1. But that's not how this instruction work. This instruction work that it keeps them true, but it compacts them. So Let's write it from right to left. Are we gonna keep zero? No, so I'm not writing anything. Do I keep one? Yes, I do. I'm keeping two? No, I don't. I'm keeping three? Yes, so I write it. I'm keeping four? Yes. I'm keeping five? No. I'm keeping seven? Yes. And then basically you have zero, zero, oops, zero, zero. So let me put this, oops, back, which is a lot, so it's aligned. There we go, right? So that's the result we will get is compacting them where we want. So you see that that's pretty much the mask we want. The only problem that these indices are 8 bit each. So whatever, the only thing we're going to do next is expand this to uh, each bit, sorry, each byte, so 8 bit, to a 32 bit. So we are going to basically extend each byte to a 4 byte, to a float, and then we can use that mask. Because that's exactly the permutation that we want. All right? So let's actually do this. So we are here, and we extracted the wanted indices. That's why I call it like that. Now, n is a 64 bit integer. So what we're going to do, we're going, first of all, to use this uh, AVX instruction. I think it's AVX, sorry, I'm not, it might be SSC4 or another SSC, but let's call it just AVX. What it does is going to copy this 64-bit value into an 800, sorry, 128-bit register, right? And it's going to zero out the upper value. So let's say that the upper value is zero and it's 32-bit and the, the value, uh, the other value is going to be wanted indices because in 128 register, you can store two doubles. So basically we copy our double and we zero the other one. That's the only thing we're going to do. And finally, we are going to use uh, this instruction where basically convert uh, eight, um, eight char to 32 bit integer. That's exactly what we want. So this final instruction, CVT, E, P, U, 8, whatever, is going to expand uh, the value in the lower 64-bit 64, 64 
uh, register into the 256, expanding each byte to a 32. All right, all right. So we have eight byte there. So eight times 32 is 256. So that's the final mask that we want. So we have the 832 bit. We can form, uh, perform our permutation. And if we go back, after permutation is done, we have the resulting register with the two values in the lowest uh, two 32 bit words. So the only thing we need to do is to use the mask store as we did before and return. And you might wonder, like, oh my god, that's so much work. How can it be faster? Well, you saw that it's faster. We have the benchmark, of course. I still have crap written somewhere. Where exactly? 95. No, it's not there anymore. I didn't just didn't save the file. So we can see the benchmark. There we go. So it's 22% faster. Uh, compared to the branch version, right? So all the benchmark you see there is compared to the branch version. And the reason why this is the case is because the instruction, basically all operator on register, so there is a lot less moving around going on. In the previous one, I'm, load, I'm building first of all, so uh, putting on the stack these values, then modifying a couple of values and loading the whole 60, uh, sorry, 256 bit into the register and doing the shuffle. Meanwhile, doing that all in the registers, right, probably has much lower latency and quicker throughput. And that's why we get this. We can probably uh, benchmark how long this building this mask is, is taking us compared to this, but it's pretty much the whole instruction. Is the, the whole function only does that because the rest is equal. So basically the difference that you see is basically into computing the, uh, the compress and moving on. And actually, if you go and check this, uh, the stack overflow is amazing. Basically it does a performance analysis. I think the whole thing here, the whole compress thing boils down to like six cycle plus the permute bar. That's, that's where you get your speed improvement, all right? So in the final video, so in the next one, in the final one, we are going to see uh, basically the fastest one, the one that gives a 33% boost, and you will be shocked on how simple that is. So see you in the next video, guys.